Hey guys, today we're comparing the Vivo X50 Pro and the iPhone 11 in a camera test. Now the Vivo X50 Pro has a gimbal camera so it can take super steady videos and it can supposedly do well in night photography. Meanwhile, the iPhone 11 is also known for great video stabilization and it's one of the first iPhones to have a night mode. So we're gonna pit them against each other and we'll see what happens. Now before we begin, let's just talk about the specs of these phones. The Vivo X50 Pro has a 48MP camera paired with an 8MP ultra-wide lens, another 8MP periscopic telephoto lens, and a 13MP portrait lens. For its selfie camera, it uses a 32MP lens. On the other hand, the iPhone 11 has three 12MP cameras, one on the front and two on the back which is the main lens and the ultra-wide lens. With the gimbal camera and the ultra-stable mode turned on, the X50 Pro matches the iPhone when it comes to video stabilization. Both phones take steady 1080p shots at 60 frames per second when I'm walking, but when I start running, here's where the results become conclusive. Even though the X50 Pro is slightly shaky, it's more stable than the iPhone 11. You can see the iPhone's video wobble and swing as I run, while the X50 Pro doesn't move around that much. Surprisingly, the X50 Pro still managed to take stable videos even when I'm recording 4K shots with 30 frames per second. Even though the video becomes jittery when I start to run, it's still better than the iPhone 11's footage that moved around a lot. I've also taken a video using the front camera of both phones and they turned out to be equally stable. The only difference I find is the colors and the fact that the X50 Pro has a beauty mode so I look slightly better here. Now that we've seen the videos on both phones, let's move on to the photography taken with the camera of the X50 Pro and the iPhone 11. We'll start with low light photography. The X50 Pro is undeniably better than the iPhone when it comes to low light selfies. The iPhone's photos are darker and more grainy, but with the X50 Pro's beauty mode and night mode, selfies are brighter and of course more flawless looking. As for its rear camera, both phones took great night shots but when it comes to darker surroundings, the X50 Pro did a better job at brightening up the pictures and producing more vibrant colours. With a periscopic telephoto lens, I think it's clear that the X50 Pro wins in this aspect. Both phones are great before zooming but once I zoom up to 2 times or even 5 times, the differences are visible. The X50 Pro has better details and more pleasant colours. Even at 10 times zoom or 20 times zoom, the picture still looks alright though it starts to get more grainy and loose details. At 60 times zoom, you can still make out the subject just that it's no longer an insta-worthy picture. Overall, the X50 Pro is a good smartphone when it comes to taking videos as compared to the iPhone 11, but it could have been better if the ultra stabilization is also supported on its 4K videos. But if we put videos aside, the X50 Pro actually defeats the iPhone when it comes to night and zoom photography. So if you're looking for a camera that can do both videos and photos, I say go for the X50 Pro. Now that's it for our comparison today. Let us know which is your preferred smartphone. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Care Gadget TV. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!